Hey everybody, Hans Drazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International. <music> coming to you with another video. Uh, before we begin, happy holidays. Just wanted to wish you all the best this holiday season. It's been a crazy one, obviously. Uh, you can see I've got my holiday decor back here uh, and, and definitely excited to celebrate just like you guys. As you can see, we moved. Uh, got a bit of a different setup here, still working out where I'm gonna record from, um, but I also recorded a video about the moving experience and posted it, so I'll link to it right up here. You should check that out if you're going through that yourself hopefully it provides some value but switching gears into today's topic we're talking about a book I recently read and how it can help you succeed in your real estate buying selling investing whatever the book is called the psychology of money by Morgan Housel as you can see I'm a Kindle guy I got it right here I'll link to it down in the description so you can pick up a copy for yourself and read it over the next couple weeks because I think you're gonna get a ton out of it but there were a couple things that I pulled out that I think are absolutely critical for anyone looking to buy or sell or invest or whatever um, that I think will really help in 2021. So if you get value out of this video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, you know what to do. I uh, really appreciate the support. And without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so uh, the author Morgan Housel, I love his creativity, I love his writing style, frankly. Uh, but he's got his very first chapter called No One's Crazy. Uh, in this market, whether it's nationally or locally, whatever you click on, there's something about how housing prices are ridiculous, we're in a bubble this, something that. I did create a video about the bubble, and I'll link to it up here, how I don't think we're in one locally. Um, but basically, he's talking about, again, the psychology of how people act and how people think. Uh, no one's crazy. So he actually has a quote, which I'll show you here. Your personal experience makes up about 0.000000001% of what happens in the world, but makes up about 80% uh, of how you think the world works. Uh, so what he's trying to say is that everybody is operating on what they think is a rational basis. And when you take that into the real estate world, whether it's buying, selling, investing, bidding high, removing contingencies, everybody's got a rational reason for doing things. And so when you're going into a, a competitive situation or looking at a property, you need to find out what that rationality is for you and accept the fact that there are other ways of looking at things. That's where your agent, that's where your lender, that's where other friends and family can come in and help you bring some multiple perspectives. So building that team, having a little bit more perspective is absolutely critical but also just understanding that everyone else isn't crazy they're just doing what they feel is rational based on their very narrow sliver of how the world works so keep that in mind as you go into the spring market which is bound to be uh, a really competitive one this spring in 2021 fast forwarding in the book to chapter 17 uh, the seduction of pessimism it's rampant on YouTube right now. Everybody's talking about how the 2021 mar uh, real estate market is gonna crash, it's gonna crash and burn, it's gonna be terrible, you name it. There's a clickbait headline out there for you. So to quote Morgan real quick, I, I love this quote. Pessimism isn't just more common than optimism, it also sounds smarter. Interesting. Uh, it's intellectually captivating and it's paid more attention to than optimism, which is often viewed as being uh, oblivious to risk. Uh, so generally speaking, if people say the world is gonna come to an end and they're wrong, everyone's like, well, you're just being safe, right? But if everyone's like, it's all gonna be totally fine, it's like you are a complete idiot and you're missing all these warning signs that are going on. So think about that with all the current headlines that we're looking at right now. Um, he goes on to say, if you tell someone that everything will be great, then they're likely to either shrug you off or um, offer a skeptical eye. Tell someone that there's danger and they, then you have their undivided attention. Uh, people, as we know, in psychology of sales and money, um, everyone is more willing to save or protect a thousand dollars than they are to go get a thousand dollars. That's just human nature. We want to protect what's ours. Um, so when someone tells us the market's going to crash, it's a terrible time to buy, everything is going to hell in a handbasket, we're bound to listen. Don't necessarily fall into that trap. 
really get multiple perspectives because if you just look at YouTube right now, you'll find there's an echo chamber of market crashing and total chaos coming your way. And frankly, I don't see that coming. Uh, and there's actually a fair amount of people who don't either, but those messages end up in your uh, consciousness and will help or help you think that uh, it is all terrible and then you'll act as such. So the third thing that I wanted to bring up is uh, a section in chapter 20 called Confessions. I couldn't find the exact quote, but I will paraphrase it uh, for you here, uh, which is basically know the game you're playing. Uh, he has a quote which I believe was, I can afford to not be a good investor, but I can't afford to be a bad one. He's talking about his personal investing strategy and how he doesn't uh, go for big gains. He actually plays um, uh, index funds and that sort of thing that are very uh, boring and steady. Um, basically because he's building a lifestyle that is very frugal. Uh, he pays off his, he paid off his house early. He uh, has a very, lives very well below his means, all that stuff. So he knows his game is what he's trying to say. So my point here for you as someone who might want to buy or sell houses, know the game you're playing, know your goal, know what it is that you need to compare yourself to. Because if you, if we sit here in uh, Alameda, California or the Bay area or wherever and we compare ourselves to other markets that are going up down sideways backwards and forwards uh, it might get discombobulating and even more narrow you compare yourself to someone in San Francisco or San, uh, San Jose or any of that sort of thing again not your game and even further uh, know the buyer pool that you're going for or competing in know what those people are all about, um, what their price point is, what their general constraints are, know who your competition is and know what your goal is, and that will help keep you aligned in whatever it is you're trying to accomplish for 2021. There's a ton more lessons in this book, admittedly, and I, and I would love to take more time to go through them, but those are the three most powerful ones that I think are absolutely critical for success here in 2021. If you wanna pick up a copy of The Psychology of Money, I've got it linked up down in the description of the video. You can check it out on the Kindle, get the hardcover, two-day Amazon, shipping, all that fun stuff, um, and, and probably read it in just a couple of days. It's a pretty easy read, and uh, Morgan has a fantastic writing style that I find humorous and, and very enjoyable. So hopefully you get something out of that, and hopefully this video helps you think about your success in 2021, and if it does, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, you know all the good stuff. I uh, really appreciate the support. Hopefully you got value out of this. And if you did, uh, tell me so down in the comments. What did you like? Uh, have you read the book? Would, uh, are you thinking about reading it? Uh, what's your favorite part? All that good stuff. I want to communicate with you down there. Um, so without any further ado, let's sign it off for today. This is Hans Strazino with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International signing off for now. See you guys on the next one.